Je ne tirerai pas 20 000 francs de tout ça. My name is Paul Thomas Anderson. I'm here to talk about the great Max Ophuls. I first came to Max Ophuls. I'm a little bit fuzzy exactly how it happened, but I think I'd been watching films that Sam Fuller had done, and I was reading that Sam Fuller was so great at these elaborate tracking shots, but but really it was nothing compared to the master of the, the shot. So it led me to find Everything I Could by Max Ophuls. Oh. In terms of the earrings of Madame Du, this opening shot is clearly from her point of view, but it's also over her shoulder. And it doesn't really move on its own accord. It moves with her, it moves with her eyes. I think to look at the actress here, um, Danielle Derieu, who's in a bunch of his films, I think she was in three or four of his movies, is a perfect reason why I think you can pull off a camera move like this if you have an actor that's in the frame that is capable of doing or is worth watching for that long a period of time. And she certainly is. She's just pretty magnificent. Ma croix. Ma croix. Oh, non, j'adore. Évidemment, c'est cela que j'aime le moins. Max Ophuls was really the first person to do with the camera what he did. There's nothing I've seen before these films that compares or comes close. But it's obvious to me now, you know, the stories sunk into my DNA of, of how to tell a story or, or what makes an interesting story. It just got in there so, so strongly. On reflection, I see these movies now and I think, I think, my God, this is probably the first time I was seeing anything like this. And I see things that I have obviously been influenced by or tried to rip off or tried to, tried to do, tried to tell a story in such a way. It's amazing how if a film is so good, it just, it gets, it gets under your skin.